Welcome to Gravity Sketch Beta. This is the new beta with sub D. So we're going to walk you through some of the features. So let's access our primitives. And now you have a new button here, which will allow you to expose only sub D primitives that are available to you. Um, we're going to start with a cube. We'll make a quick cube here. We'll grab that cube and edit. And now in edit mode, you can grab points, edges, and faces. You can also toggle through restricted modes where you're just grabbing faces, edges, or solely points. Now, you can grab these points and manipulate them. You can grab the edges and manipulate them in the faces as well. You also have a new edit panel. This edit panel allows you to jump into subdivision mode. So go ahead and click that and you can jump into sub D. You can go up three levels of subdivision. So now you're having a very smooth shape. You can continue editing and manipulating in this mode. You can add faces as well. And you can just turn that off to jump right back into your polygon. We can do a lot of editing features here, like turning on restricted face movement. That means I can grab a surface or a face and I can restrict along an axis. I can also grab the full edge loop. So I grab this whole edge loop here and I can continue to manipulate and move it in any direction I wish. And I can jump straight back into sub D to continue editing. You have a couple of other tools that we brought into the platform. So if you look at here on the dominant drawing hand, you have a little uh, hammer and, and cutting tool that will spawn up this new tool set. Um, with this tool set, it's a grabbing interaction, so you grab your knife and you would be able to cut across the surface. Might be a little bit easier to see if we jump back into the polygon modeling mode. And now we can grab a surface and cut across here. You could also cut arbitrarily across a line. And then you can continue editing and manipulating. This tool here will allow you to smooth out surfaces. So if you grab this tool here and you hover it over the points and you pull the trigger, you can start smoothing out your surface any which way you feel necessary. So in a very short period of time, you're able to create some really complex, interesting geometry. So we'll just do a really quick, rapid speed test of some of the tools and how really unique you can work in Gravity Sketch. So here I'm just grabbing faces and extruding, grabbing edges, deleting a face, grabbing the edge and extruding that edge around. And now I'm ending up in, with a really organic shape that I could never have conceived otherwise. Now what about your existing gravity sketches? Well, we have a solution for that as well. Anything with a surface that you've already created in gravity sketch can now be converted directly into a sub D surface. So if we sketch out a surface here, we can edit that surface and in the surface edit panel, you now have convert to sub D object. We're gonna go ahead and click that turns into the faceted version of the surface. We then go back into edit mode, and now you have a subdivision panel edit mode. At your discretion, you can continue to manipulate and move objects around in this space. So it's a quick way to allow you to convert from NURBS to subdivision, or from any of your existing geometry and gravity sketch to subdivision. So again, um, you can grab any of your strokes that are ribbon strokes or any of your surfaces, and you can convert these to sub D. And you can continue manipulating and editing these in, in sub D mode. You can also import your sketches or import old sketches and models that are quad based or even triangular based and start editing. But very, be very careful about the number of polygons that you introduce because obviously if you're on Quest or if you're in the Rift headset or, or, or it, pretty much anything, you're really a slave to the GPU. So you want to be careful and mindful of that. Um, thank you so much for your support. And this is a beta again. So please join our Discord. Join our beta channels and please communicate about what features you'd like to see and where you'd like to see this development migrate and move into. Thanks so much.